Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's uh, Wednesday the 10th of April 2024. I hope you are keeping well here in Thailand. Some work is taking, some. there is some work going on, especially for me, um, but uh, not a great deal because it's very close to our new year. It's very hot here as well. Uh, new year is almost upon us and I should be maybe doing some special videos for that. Um, what's going on in the rest of the world? Uh, if you are an intelligent, sane and rational human being in America, my, sympathy, my sympathies are with you. It must be really difficult to live in a country like that at the moment where, where the theocrats are in so much control. Um, in Arizona, uh, the Supreme Court of that state has decided to back and is it 1860 well, let me have a look uh, 1864 law has now come into effect after Roe was Roe versus Wade was overturned and the law now bans basically bans all abortion in that state um, and uh, at that time when the law was uh, enacted uh, when the law was written in Arizona Arizona was not even a state of the United States uh, no women had any votes, of course, and uh, <laughs> it was still a territory, right? And the Civil War was still going on, so um, what an incredible uh, um, uh, decision to let stand. Uh, it, it's, it's kind of obscene. Um, it means a nightmare for many women who really need to give need to have an abortion for medical grounds uh, life of the mother is not considered uh, or is possibly considered but basically you have to die first before they can say okay save the mother <laughs> it's so outrageous um, so if you are an intelligent American I you have my sympathy and my understanding oh I know why I was mentioning it yeah I, I was mentioning this for another reason <laughs> it's because the theocrats the lunacy, the insanity of America is that in on the uh, Senate floor in Arizona, just one day before this uh, effect, this uh, court ruling uh, um, was given, uh, people were speaking in tongues, lying on the floor, you know, j jiving around like a David Byrne in a Talking Heads video, uh, speaking in tongues. These people should be in a bloody straitjacket. They were, there they were on the Senate floor speaking in tongues. Do you not know how insane that is? It's absolute rubbish. It's absolute bullshit. And yet these kind of people have power in America. You know, and the country is laughed at across the world, I think, for its insanity. Certainly most uh, Western European countries will just laugh and say America is an insane place because of its religion. Uh, that's one great thing about being British is that I, that's one great thing that I can say about being British is we really don't care. Certainly working class people don't care about the church at all and never have done in my lifetime. Now, of course, going back in time, it wasn't true. But certainly since I was born, uh, working class people have never cared about the church. The church has only ever affected your life in th at three times, of course. That's when you get christened, get your name, the vicar wets your head. You get married, which nowadays is rather pointless, I would imagine, since more than half of uh, weddings end in divorce, marriages end in divorce anyway. And then when you go off in the box. And uh, so that's it. That's Those are the only times when people encounter religion in the UK, for most people, I would say, unless you are a particularly religious person, which is a, mi of a, a m small minority of the country. And that's the way it should be. Anyway... Should we get on with the game of Sudoku? Because uh, otherwise the video is going to be super long, isn't it? We've got ones blocking across like that. This is the New York Times hard level Sudoku puzzle, a favorite of the channel that we play most days of the week. I saw something else while I was chatting to you, and then I looked away from the screen, and now I've lost whatever it was that I saw, but it means that I know something is there. Ah, well, let's find the eights across here and across there and up there. Uh, I think there was something down here, but I can't remember what I saw. Uh, 
here we go. Four across here and there and four up there. Well, we have three and four in these squares because we have three and four here and here. So that means those squares there must be three and four. I don't know what it means, but it is true anyway. Uh, so what do we know now? Now that we know that's three and four, two, not a great deal. Six is here. Okay, so six is in one, six blocks across here, so that puts six into one of these two squares, understanding that three and four are there. So six blocking up there, six across there will give us a six in that square. Uh, what else do I know? This was what, three, four? Uh, eights are going to be on this side. Let's see about eights. Somewhere there, somewhere there. Hmm. Uh, should I investigate here just in case? So we've got two and three already. No, sorry, three and four already, I should say. So we're looking for two, five, eight, nine in these squares, I guess. And we've got two, five, and eight already in that row, so that's going to be a nine. I don't know if I've got enough numbers here. One, three, five, eight, nine. One, three, five, eight, nine. I've got to double check this because I'm not sure. I don't see a one. I don't see a three. I don't see a five. I don't see an eight and a nine. And I've got one, three, no five, eight, nine. So that has got to be a five, hasn't it? Five eight nine, so that's a one three. Okay, two blocks this square here in the top row. That will be a two then. This must be seven. Uh, missing numbers here, five, seven, and nine, I think. Okay, we've got seven and nine here. That's going to be a five. Okay, five down here, five up there, five across there, and there's a five. One down here, one up there, there's a one. Six. 
7 blocks all of those squares there, so that's going to be a 7. This will be our 9. Missing numbers down here. And, and I remember this was 3, 4, wasn't it? So I can get this for sure. Now, missing numbers down here are uh, 6, 8, 9. And this was 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 3, 4. What am I missing? 2. I think I'm missing 2, aren't I? 6, 8, 9, 3, 4. Yes, 2. Okay, so to go here is going to be 7 and 6, I think. And that means we have 2 blocking across here and up there. There's our 2. 7 and 6 here, this is going to be 8. We're very empty in the bottom right here. Okay, I think the missing numbers down here one three eight nine one three eight nine four num numbers one three eight nine one three eight nine I think so yes and one eight and nine are in the same row so that's going to be a three. Uh, seven blocks this square, so that's the seven. This will be a six, I believe, to finish the row. Four and seven block down here. Four and seven block down here. That's a pair of four and seven here. Uh, now we've got seven blocking across there, so in fact that's the seven and that's the four. Five blocks across here, putting five into one of these two squares, blocking up there, giving... Oh, no! <laughs> Almost messed... Yes, no, it's okay. Five across here and five down there. Yes, it's okay. It's fine. Five there. <laughs> and my brain went a bit absent there for a second, but managed to pull it back. Okay. Uh, so I think three, nine missing from here, right? But we've got three blocking that square, so that would be three, and that would be our nine. Six blocks up here, there's the six. Uh, eight blocks across here, there's the eight, and one finishes that block there. We've got one and nine blocking across here, that puts one and nine in those squares, one blocking down here, there's the one, there's the nine. Uh, missing numbers here are 3 and 7, so this has to be 6, and this has to be 7. 9 blocks this square, there's our 9, and the last number up here is a 2. One more number to get here, which is uh, 3. 3 blocks this square here, there's a 3. I don't know if I've got lucky here, but making making very fast progress. Maybe there's going to be some terrible logic puzzle coming at the end. I don't think so, though. I feel like I've done too much already. But mind you, this bottom area down here is still pretty empty, so there's still some stuff to do, I guess. Uh, what's missing from here? Is it a 9? I think it is a 9. Uh, 
Okay, left to get up here is two, five, and six. We've got two and six together. That is going to be our five. Missing from down here is three, five, and eight. Okay. What do we know? What do we got about the twos here? We've got twos in those squares. What do we know about the ones? We can do one. One across here, one across there, down there, and down there. So there's our one. And now we can get the twos, right? Because two across there and there and down there will give us two in that square. And two blocking up gives us two here. And the missing number here is six. Six blocking down, down, and across there will give us six there. Six across here and there. And another one from up on high blocking down there. Six. And that's the final digit, six. And not much more to go. Okay. Uh, let's see what we need. We still need digit three. Can we do threes? Uh, not sure. Can we do fours? Maybe not. Can we do fives? Yes, five blocking down like this. There's our five. Five across here and five across there. There's our five. Can we do eight? Yes, eight blocking down there gives us an eight there. Eight across here and eight down there. There's our eight. Eight blocking this way. There's our eight. Uh, we still need here a three. Three blocks across there and back down there. So there's a three. Three across there, here and there. And there's a three. Excuse me. Uh, we still need a four for this square. And we got four blocking across there, giving us four there. And a nine will finish the game. Wow. Uh, a pretty straightforward game from the New York Times. Very uh, simple, actually, I'd suggest, uh, compared to uh, re recent days, I think. Okay, that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.